Friends, today I'd like to show you a very cool Joe Bonner Massa Lake. I discovered that lake in one of his demo videos for the way huge overrated special mini pedal. The link to that video you will find in the description of my video. I transcribed this lake because I think it has everything that fascinates us about Joe Bonner Massa solo style. In the following minutes we'll take that lake and we'll break it down part for part. I'll show you exactly how to play it note for note. What we do is we will slow the lick down and I'll give you a close up of what I play. So let's do it right now. Let's take a look at the first lick. I'll play it for you and then we'll slow it down. So put your ring finger on the 15th fret, bend up one whole note and then you'll play the high E string with your index finger placed on the 12th fret. So we play the high E here. You'll do that three times and then one more time you play the B string here and bend up and then you keep it bent up here. The whole thing sounds like that. Let's take a look at the second lick right now. The second lick sounds like that. What Joe does is he plays two groups of four notes and then one group of seven notes. So let's take a look at the first group. You'll put your index finger on the 12th fret of the high E string and strike the note with, with a downstroke. Then another downstroke, place your ring finger on the 15th fret of the B string. Then you pull off to the 12th fret on the B string where you have already placed your index finger. And then play with either your middle finger or your ring finger the 14th fret of the G string. That's the first group. One, two, three, four. Downstroke, downstroke, pull off, downstroke. So the next group, we'll start it with a downstroke. So this means we've ended the last lick with a downstroke and then we just switch to the B string again. 15th fret. 15th fret, pull off to the 12th fret on the B string, then downstroke on the G string, 14th fret, pull off to the 12th fret on the G string. So let's take a look at the next leg. So here we have a group of seven notes. We start with the downstroke on the D string, 14th fret, place your ring finger here, then another downstroke, 12th fret of the G string, hammer on to the 14th fret of the G string, then 12th fret of the B string, hammer on to the 15th fret of the B string, 12th fret on the high E string, with the index finger and then an upstroke to the 15th fret.
Okay, let's take a look at the third lick, which goes like this. It's five notes. I play it slowly again for you. And I'm still playing it legato. You can, of course, economy pick this, but believe me, the economy picking, the fast pickings come later in this lick. So let's start here. What I do is I put my ring finger on the 17th fret and I pull off to the 15th fret. Then I put my ring, ring finger on the 17th fret of the B string and pull off to the 15th fret. And then I put my middle finger on the 16th fret of the G string and I do a downward pick. So this is an odd measure with five notes, which is very typical for Joe. Let's take a look at the fourth lick, which goes like that. So this lick contains eight notes and a slide, which makes it nine notes, and we have an odd measure again. So what I do is, I put my ring finger on the 17th fret of the B string and I pull off to the 15th fret. Then I put my ring finger on the 16th fret of the G string and I pull off to the 14th fret. And then I do economy picking. I put my pinky or you can put your ring finger either on the 17th fret of the D string. I pick downward, up. So my index finger is on the 14th fret of the D string, then my pinky goes to the 17th fret of the A string, downward pick and up to the 14th fret where my index finger lays and then I slide to the 12th fret. Lick three and four together sound like that. Here is lick number five. Put your ring finger on the 14th fret of the G string, you play a downstroke, put your index finger on the 12th fret of the G string and hit it with an upstroke. Put your ring finger on the 14th fret of the D string, play a downstroke and then play an upstroke to hit the 12th fret on the D string with your index finger. Then you put your ring finger on the 14th fret of the A string, play a downstroke and play an upstroke to hit the 12th fret of the A string with your index finger and then you slide to the 10th fret of the A string. So we have a cluster of six notes plus a slide which is seven notes in total and it's an odd measure again. So let me play that again for you. Let's take a look at lick number six, which goes like this. Put your pinky on the 12th fret of the G string, hit it with a downstroke, then play an upstroke to hit the 9th fret of the G string with your index finger. Again, put your pinky on the 12th fret of the D string, hit it with a downstroke, and then play an upstroke to hit the 9th fret of the D string with your index finger.
you can of course use your ring finger instead of the pinky. Then put the pinky on the 12th fret of the A string, play a down stroke and then hit the 10th fret of the A string with your middle finger, play an up stroke. And here is what both licks sound played together. Let's take a look at lick number seven now. Okay, what Joe plays is ninth fret on the G string with the ring finger downstroke, then with an upstroke and your index finger on the seventh fret of the G string, then put your ring finger on the D string, again on the ninth fret, play a downstroke, put your index finger on the seventh fret of the D string, play an upstroke. Then put your pinky on the 10th fret of the A string, play a downstroke. And your index finger on the 7th fret of the A string and play an upstroke. Again. Okay, here comes lick number eight. Okay, let's take a closer look at this lick. Again, we start with the downstroke. We put our ring finger on the seventh fret of the D string. Then we play an upstroke, put the index finger on the fifth fret of the D string. Then we play a downstroke again. Put your ring finger on the seventh fret of the A string. Put your index finger on the fifth fret of the A string, play an upstroke. And then you play three notes chromatically in a row and you start with a downstroke. Put your ring finger on the low E string, seventh fret, downstroke. Sixth fret of the low E string, middle finger, upstroke. Then put your index finger on the fifth fret of the low E string, play a downstroke. Then you play an upstroke again here, put your, and you slide to the third fret of the low E string. Play the low E string with a downstroke. And then you play a downstroke again, you play the D string. And you hammer with your index finger on the second fret of the D string. Feel free to play legato. It's it's a really difficult lick and it, it has a difficult tempo to play. So 120 beats per minute is not slow. So if it is more convenient to you to play it with legato, that's okay too. Thank <laughs> you.
Here is lick number nine. <laughs> Let's split this lick into two parts so it's a little more digestible. Let's start with the first part. Okay. We start with a downstroke on the fifth string of the low E string where you put your index finger. Then you play an upstroke, middle finger on the sixth fret of the E string. Then you put your ring finger on the 7th fret of the low E string, you play a downstroke. And then you play another downstroke, put your index finger on the 5th fret of the A string. So you have this transition going on here with two downstrokes in a row. Then you put your ring finger on the seventh fret of the A string, you play an upstroke. Then use the same technique, you play another upstroke, put your middle finger on the seventh fret of the low E string. So you come from an upstroke with your ring finger on the A string here on the seventh fret. You just go up, play another upstroke here, middle finger on the seventh fret of the low E string. So you have. Then you put your index finger on the fifth fret of the D string again, play a downstroke. And the ring finger on the A string with an upstroke. So let me repeat that for you. That was the first part of the lick. I'll play it very, very slow for you and watch my picking here. Watch my picking hand also. So that was the first part. Let's, let, let's take a look at the second part. Put your index finger on the 5th fret of the D string, play a downstroke, then put your ring finger on the 7th fret of the A string, play a, an upstroke, then you play a downstroke again, put your index finger on the 4th fret of the D string, put your middle finger on the fifth fret of the A string, play an upstroke and then put your pinky or your ring finger either on the seventh fret of the A string and play a downstroke. I'll play it slowly again for you. Here's the second part of the leg. <laughs> This is a little more complicated. I'll play the entire thing slowly again for you. Okay, let's take a look at lick number 10. Here it is, slow. Ok, 
Okay, remember that the last lick, lick number nine, ended on a downstroke. You start lick number 10 on a downstroke again. So you have that downstroke, downstroke, downstroke movement. So let's start. Put your index finger on the fourth fret of the D string, play a downstroke. Then put your middle finger on the fifth fret of the D string, play an upstroke. Put your pinky on the seventh fret of the D string, play a downstroke again. Then put your index finger on the fourth fret of the G string and play a downstroke again. So you find that downstroke, downstroke movement here again. Put your pinky on the seventh fret of the G string, play an upstroke. Put your ring finger on the sixth fret of the G string, play a downstroke. Put your index finger on the 4th fret of the G string and play an upstroke. Put your pinky on the 7th fret of the D string, play a downstroke. Put your ring finger on the 6th fret of the G string and play a downstroke again. So we find that, that movement here again. Then put your Index finger on the 4th fret of the G string, play an upstroke. And then slide over to the 2nd fret of the G string and you fret it with your index finger and you play a downstroke. So here's the entire lick again. So here is lick number 11. Put your pinky on the fifth fret of the D string and we started with an upstroke because we ended the last lick here with, with a downstroke. Then put your ring finger on the 4th fret of the G string, play a downstroke. Put your index finger on the 2nd fret of the G string and play an upstroke. Put your pinky on the 5th fret of the D string again and play another upstroke. So you come from an upstroke and play another upstroke. Then put your ring finger on the 4th fret of the D string, play a downstroke. Then put your index finger on the 2nd fret of the G string, play a downstroke again. Put your pinky on the 5th fret of the D string, play an upstroke. Put your ring finger on the 4th fret of the D string, play a downstroke. So here is like 10 and 11 played together and slowly. Okay, let's take a look at lick number 12. Put your index finger on the second fret of the D string and start with an upstroke. Then put your ring finger on the fourth fret of the D string, play a downstroke. Then put your pinky on the fifth fret of the A string, 
and play an upstroke. Then put your index finger on the second fret of the D string again and play a downstroke. Put your ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string, play an upstroke. Put your pinky on the fifth fret of the A string, play a downstroke. Put your index finger on the second fret of the A string and play an upstroke. Put your ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string and play a downstroke. Okay, let's take a look at lick 13. We start with an upstroke again. Put your pinky on the fifth fret of the low E string. Then you put your index finger on the second fret of the A string, you play a downstroke. Then you go back to the fifth string of the low E string, put your pinky here and play an upstroke. Put your middle finger on the third fret of the low E string, play a downstroke. Put your index finger on the second fret of the low E string, play an upstroke. Put your pinky on the fifth fret of the low E string, play a downstroke. Put your middle finger on the third fret of the low E string, play an upstroke. Put your index finger on the second fret of the low E string, play a downstroke. Then play the open E string, the low E string. And play an E7 sharp 9 chord with a downstroke. Middle finger on the 7th fret of the A string. Index finger on the 6th fret of the D string. Ring finger on the 7th fret of the G string. And your pinky is on the 8th fret of the B string. So here's lick 12 and 13 played together.
Okay, friends, that was a cool lesson, I think. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did creating it for you. So feel free to subscribe to my channel, spread the word and leave some nice comments in the comment section. And don't forget to download the tabs and read the description. See you next time. Bye.